been a while since I did a video, but today I'm going to show you two of my just regular, just, just a regular composition book. It started off as this size, but now look at the size of it. Look at, compare it. Okay, and this is another one that I call Free. Look how chunky Free is. Remember, it started from a, just a regular old um, composition books, which you can get now because school is getting ready to start again, and they're probably 25 cents or 50 cents. So, I'm just going to do a, a flip through of this one. And I just want you to know that I pimped my composition book. She is fat and chubby. I love her. I love her. I love her. So, this is um, my information here. So, this is one of the um, books that I got from my church. It was actually um, 2016. And I turned it into almost like a planner. But it's just um, different dates. This is um, Happy Mail that I got from one of my friends. I love how she took this, um, the regular envelope. You know, this the regular envelope. And she um, did uh, mixed media on it. And I just put this inside of the window where the address shows through. So I thought that that was really cute. So I just took some washi tape and just did some flips. So I could jot down some notes. I have some altered uh, paper clips here. I can clip on different things. And I think it just came out beautiful. I just jot down things like thoughts that I have, a little inspirations, little golden nuggets that I get. This one says, pray before you pay or you really will pay later. Pray before you do anything. And make a wrong decision because, you know, some of our circumstances and some of our decisions cause, causes us to pay, to pay up. So that's why I put pray before you pay. And this is another flip here. This is actually a paper bag that I got some goodies inside. You put goodies inside. This is another altered mixed media business size envelope that, um, that I did. Some um, post-it notes here. So, um, pages when I put different scriptures. So, here I can jot down some, some journaling. So, it is, it is left up to you what you want to, um, put inside. It's just a lot of places where you can just journal. I just like to go through it and, and look at all of the different little, um, pages. This says August, so this was August of last year. I did a daily, um, a daily thing here and it says here <clears throat> do you see how I used to glimmer mist on this and this is really shiny do some journaling on here so what you can read here it says it's like a prompt it says but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus Philippians 4 19 and you can write down something here you can journal down something there and the list goes on. I wrote this, oh my God, so long ago. Um, let me see. 2006. That was 11 years ago. I had this dream about my father. My pop, my father passed away in um, 2006. 2006. And this is Happy 80th Birthday, Papa. And this is something that I wrote for my dad, and it was really powerful. So, um, I just wanted to, I have the date that I, I wrote it, too. It was um, May 29, 2007 here. And this is something that I wrote. Actually, I mean, um, I got it from... God, God gave this to me, and my dad was a deacon of the church, and it, it just really warms my heart, so I have to keep this close to me at all times, at all times, okay, some of self and some of thee, less of self and more of thee, none of self, but all of thee. 
So, you know, I just put um, scrapbooking paper over it. This was September. Uh, the same thing, a prompt here, writing here. And um, a lot of emails that I got. And I, I, I loved them because they were very inspirational. I um, These are Bible readings throughout the year. And um, these were... Um, this will little readings that I got inside of a little reader. It shapes like a tea, a teacup. So I got those out. Did a little journaling on this page. And all on the pages, I just put um, the um, alcohol inks, just spread them and just have some fun with them. This here is called A Piece of Cake. This is the reading that I did. And this one is called The Butterfly very interesting readings if you want to um this is a picture of me and my son this is 2007 so that was a long time ago so this is october this i love ladybugs i love ladybugs ladybugs and i had went online and i did a um a little google i google ladybugs and it told me some things about ladybugs so I just really love ladybugs. So, this is it. This is my pimped um, composition books. I keep my cards inside of them. When I get cards from my loved ones, birthday cards or whatever, I just keep my um, birthday cards inside them. So, um, basically, that's what that's what it is. It is and you can um, make your own comes out really nice. I have some months that I didn't complete, but I, all you have to do is go back and just put uh, a sticker or something over 16 and just, you know, just add your stickers and however you want to do it, you know. So this is another, this is the new year here, which I started, Promises of God from each book in the Bible. It's from Genesis all the way to Revelation, January, February, and you see I have to catch up. And this is not really, I don't have to keep it on a daily basis. I can go back and I just can journal and I can just write because we are well into this year. I don't know where um, this year has gone. We're already on over half of the year. We're in July. So this is um, it's called Cleaning House for 2008. Last week I threw out worry. It was getting old. And in my way, it kept me from being me. I couldn't do things God's way. I threw out a book of my past, didn't have time to read it anymore. Replaced it with new goals, started something, started reading it today. So this just very good points that you can go into. You can, you can um, read it and after you read it, you can journal on the pages of it. So. Some of these um, scrapbooking pages, I really didn't like that I wanted to use in anything, so I just decided to use it um, here in my composition. Uh, so many things, so many things. It is awesome. A big God. A big God. He is indeed a big God. We serve. So this is July here. And... These are more things that I can read and journal. A poem about our girlfriends. So, this is the, um, this is a file folder that I did. I thought it was a really good idea that I sewed papers to it. I could journal on the pages here of my file folders. So, this, this is towards the back of the book. So, this is my chunky, chunky monkey composition book. And this is the other one. And this one is called Free. And she is bigger. And I just use these um, ribbons to tie throughout and tie her up. And seem to be working pretty good. But she is really chunky. I still have, um, and look, all, all the pages I, I put washi tapes on the edges. So. She won't even close right. She has a crocodile mouth. That they call the crocodile mouth. So, cards, washi tape, basically it's the same thing. 
a lot of cards. I keep a lot of my cards in here from my mom, grandma, uh, brother, birthday cards, different things. And I did some mixed media. Most of it is just cards. Writing is another card. You know, you have to have some place to keep your cards. Look how beautiful. Mother's Day cards. Mixed media. Tags. All of my mixed media. A lot of my mixed media things is inside here. Look, look at cards. Cards. Cards, cards, cards. And that's the one reason why it's so chunky. Because I have my cards inside of here. No particular order. Just mixed media. And I have, um, these tabs really don't serve a purpose. I just um, wanted to use them to add some um, character to the, put to the book. So, here it is. I love the mixed media pages. Tags. Tuck spots. So that's what it is throughout the pages. Tags, tuck spots, mixed media pages and pages to journal and write on. So this is my chunky monkey. And what I really could do is just go back and take these cards and I could put these cards on each page. So, you know, I could balance it out and one day I will do that. And, um write something about the card so I love it ladies so if you want to or you need to see the other one that I did I think I don't know where it is I can't put my hands on it right now but it came out so nice also so if you want to just take a regular composition book and turn it into a um, chunky monkey journal do that I'm gonna make one for my friend she loves the color purple, so I'm just going to make it for her, and I'm going to give it to her as a gift. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to put anything inside. I'm going to let her use it as a journal. So I'm just going to make her one out of the purple. And also, another thing I'm going to start, which might be my next um, video, would be, my son was in an art class and he just took some black paint one time and he just put it on different um, white paper. I think it was um, art paper and I just cut, it was a large sheet, but I just cut them down today and I'm going to use these as journaling cards. I'm going to add some um, uh, accents, colors to them and I know it's going to come out very nice. So until next time. Take care, and don't forget to be inspired. God bless you.